Taylor Lambert joins us now with the final episode, and we'll see if they win a game this season. Of course, Robert. It has been a long haul for Andrew Hill this football year, but as the season closes, the Falcons have one more chance to get that elusive win. The season with Andrew Hill football is presented by South County Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little, save a lot. And Top Flight Sports Academy, where we elevate skills that take your game to the next level and beyond. The gold side is Tails. What are you gonna call? It's the final game of the year for Andrew Hill and the last chance for a win. It won't be an easy task as the Falcons face the Del Mar Dons, who sit atop the West Valley standings. This is going to come down to who wants it the most. It's going to come down to who wants it the most. Who can put the pain behind him? Who can put the entire behind him? As the last game of the season begins, the Andrew Hill sideline feels a different to them. Despite the roster size shrinking to just 16 by the end of the year, the Hill players seem different. They seem confident. They seem in control. The Falcons get loose with the play quarterback Eli Gonzalez drew up in practice this week. Coach Holt liked it enough to run it in a game, of course, resulting in a reception for Gonzalez. Oh yeah, I made that one up at practice because Coach like, oh, um, for, this, for this week we're going to have fun, we'll, we'll let you make up a play. And I made that play up and then he decided to go with it. <laughs> so it kind of it worked, it worked pretty good. Broken, broken. With the game still scoreless in the second quarter, Andrew Hill goes on a four minute stretch where everything starts to click. First a touchdown run by Brian Adams, and then a two-point conversion from Eli Gonzalez to Matt Tran. On the ensuing kickoff, Zeke Hasso keeps the momentum going as he dishes out the hardest hit of the Andrew Hill football season. It's a play which juices up the sideline, one of Hasso's best tackles of his football career. And the first hit, the hardest hit ever. Go, 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 go. The play would lead into a three and out for Del Mar, and the Falcons keep the momentum going into halftime with another touchdown. It's Andrew Hill's biggest lead of the season, 14 to nothing, Falcons. We get in their head, then that game is ours. Don't get cocky no matter what the score is. I don't care if it's 35-0 in one minute. It's not over yet. It's not over. It's not over. Not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's if you don't pass, they'll hit and they'll just wait. The DNs are the ones rushing in hard. Yeah. Remember, like Coach said, we got nothing to lose. They got a chance at playoffs. Let's kill our dream. They're overlooking us and we're bringing it to them. But we can't just bring it to them one half. We got to bring it to them both. That first quarter intensity got to come right now. The Falcons get the ball after halftime, but start their drive in the worst possible way. Two straight fumbled snaps, the second of which Delmar recovers and scores right away. That touchdown would be followed by another, and then the momentum would swing in Del Mar's direction in a major way. Another score later, and Andrew Hill is down, 20 to 14, just like that. Every time the Falcons did something positive, a tough call or a bad mistake would go against them. And with just over a minute left, Andrew Hill would face a fourth down. And as the ball hits the ground, the Hill season is over. Final score, 27-14, Del Mar. I know they got what we wanted, but you know what? You did not back down one bit. You did not back down one bit. There's nothing to be ashamed of. We're extremely proud of you guys. You never gave up. And you can take that, take that all the way. You want to tell great football stories? You'll have one here tonight. You did a great job, gentlemen. I couldn't be prouder. Even though they didn't win, actually win, to see um, guys like this come together as a team and work as a unit, sometimes in life it takes more than just a year's worth of work. Sometimes it's a lifetime and it never stops. So I, I, was, I was not disappointed at all. It was a lot of fun. I kind of consider this a special season for them because, I mean, you can't put their heart aside. You know what I mean? You see what they did to this six-in-one team. You know what I mean? They got it in them. Just the heart on this team is incredible. Nobody's walking around with their heads down. I mean, everybody's heads held high. Everybody's spirit is high. And I mean, these kids should be so extremely proud. One, two, three, Falcon Prize! Bye, Brian. Bye.
Uh, well, the season didn't go as expected, but either way, um, we all played our hearts out, and only there's only next year. Hopefully, we can get that win, W for next year. We didn't win a game, but we have each other, you know? We, we won a family, like, it was amazing. It was wonderful. Honestly, it was so fun. Couldn't be happier. I learned a lot in practice and stuff, and it was pretty fun. And for next year, it's going to be even more better because we're going to have to get the JVs. It was a good experience, especially with the seniors that I play with. I looked up to every single one of them, and they showed me something that I will never forget. It really was a season to remember for these special handful of athletes as they gave their full effort and heart game in and game out. This year, in the season with Andrew Hill football, the Falcons proved success is measured in many different ways. Now, the last contest of the season was by far Hill's best game. Another loss on the season, but it was a successful season no matter what. Those kids tried every game. They did their best. Great coaching staff. Building blocks for next year. Yeah. You know, the program's in place, so going forward. I'm sad that they lost, but I think I'm more sad that it's over for them and the seniors are done and they, yeah. they didn't get that win. Great kids. I mean, really? I can't stress it enough. I say it every week, but amazing people out there. Thank you, Andrew Hill. We really appreciate it. The coaches did a great job.